kcals per mole. So downhill, that's that's a downhill ride at 15 kcals per mole. That happens thermodynamically quite favorably. But to climb up that hill, 15 kilocalories per mole, doesn't happen. So that's why you can't just expect a dehydration reaction to go on its own. Not to mention the activation energy barrier. Uh, so again, this is these disaccharides, polysaccharides would be another example of what we call a metastable compound. The, its breakdown is thermodynamically favorable, but because of the activation energy barrier here, uh, it doesn't happen quickly at room temperature, and this is something you know from common experience. When you put starch in water, put table sugar in water, it doesn't just hydrolyze on its own because of this barrier. So it's kinetically trapped up here because of that barrier, so it's kinetically quite stable. Thermodynamically, uh, it's favorable to break down, but that combination of... Uh, you need that heat. Yeah, you have to or heat it up or, or add a catalyst, yeah. i.e. <laughs> an enzyme. So heat it up or add an enzyme. Yeah, that, you, heating it up gets you over the top. Because they like mold together because they're so sticky, right? Well, 